what an exciting day when you get concrete for your house. And we did this house on our own. One thing we did not tackle, though, we had some professional help with our foundation and our concrete work. So it's, uh, it's something that can be done on your own. It can be done DIY, but it's so important and it's so labor intensive and you need uh, multiple sets of hands, uh, not only when the concrete arrives, but preparing, preparing the land, preparing the dirt, preparing the uh, footings and everything else and the finish work at the end. I just don't recommend trying to tackle this on your own. So this is the one thing that we contracted out. We got some recommendations. We knew some people also. So anyway, um, getting to the nuts and bolts of it, those are the footings. Uh, there, Most people require 18 inches by 18 inches. They are required to have rebar in, in most every city that you would build in. And so that's a concrete going into the footings. Uh, and uh, it's pretty simple. Um, it, it, the only thing you want to look for as you're out there just kind of watching progress is to make sure the house is squared up. You want to get a tape measure just to double check. Okay, Those are the forms for the stem walls, which is, which is after the footings, after the footings dry. Uh, it can be the next day, and they put the bolts in uh, right into the stem walls. So when you put your bottom plates on, then it just bolts right to it. So your your framing literally stays to your slab, and that's how that happens. After that, um, I actually uh, tackled the uh, under slab plumbing and did all that myself. Uh, never done it before, just learned how to do it and uh, have separate videos on that also and had some good help along the way um, and then we had some sand brought in some backfill after we passed the city inspection for the uh, uh, plumbing uh, and um, had some sand brought in and i actually did this part on my own to save a little bit of money and that's in just to get everything backfilled okay i, just, I did it with a tractor uh, it took maybe an hour or two and then you're ready for the actual uh, what's called the flat work okay this is actually a different concrete crew you kind of have some people that'll do just the footings and stem walls and then kind of have some flat work guys who are really good at finishing have more of a, a, a bigger crew usually and um, so that's me explaining uh, to my little one there what's going on you see this arrow here? This is a what's called a thickened slab. So after that sand backfill went in, then uh, they can dig these thickened slabs, which would also be um, uh, maybe that you might dig like a two foot by two foot square where their extra concrete would go in where you might have a post or a big load bearing post or um, load bearing walls, for instance, if you can pull that off. Uh, to have that directly there there that portion there to the left is the garage so that's going to slope outward uh, the rest of it to the right is the actual uh, living space itself the garage will be finished off a little bit better uh, a little cleaner uh, and add a little custom if you want to uh, we did add a baby after this so we'll have to figure that one out and then you can start your framing we did this all ourselves um, but you you'd be surprised how quickly you can get framing up can get walls up with just a few helping hands and not too terrible and we we have full 10 foot ceilings everywhere so um that's as tall as you'll usually go and so um it's really not too terrible with some helping hands and all that stuff our big front porch it's almost 30 foot wide and about 14 foot out from the house and um massive front porch that was poured after um after actually we started framing as you saw in the pictures and everything so um and i have a different video on that also we have a huge vaulted front porch that again we we did this all ourselves um so we wanted a big porch and it's all open so um it's it's quite something um you know this channel also has a lot of stuff on how i cleared uh the 10 acres and kind of manicured it with the forestry mulcher that's what it started out with and then you start getting pictures like this you know just uh, very cool stuff